What's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. So today we're going to basically tell you how to uh, fix this issue if you have uh, starting problems or launching problems or issues with Dota 2. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be a big support for me guys, so it's, I mean, it's free for you and you would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. And I would just say, let's get right started. So as the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or going down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. So uh, once your task manager pops up, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes and to just to ensure that you're sticking around processes. And what I want you to do is gonna be to type one of those processes and uh, you're gonna type in D, searching for Dota 2. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something is gonna pop up, I want you to right click it and enter task. Once you finished here, you should be able to enter the task manager. As the next step, I want you to take uh, your Steam launches or wherever you downloaded it for me, it's Steam uh, on your desktop, so the shortcut on your desktop. So you, if you don't have it in your desktop, I want you to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen and using the Windows search function in order to find your Steam launcher. So once you found it, I want you to drag it right onto your desktop. So let's quickly come back, take your shortcut, right click it and go to the very bottom where it says properties. Once you click properties, the same properties will pop up and I want you to click on compatibility and simply copy what I'm gonna do. So as a first step, compatibility mode, enable, run this program in compatibility mode for, select Windows 8, go down and disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable, run this program as an administrator. So once you did that, I would uh, just say that you need to apply and hit okay. I would personally recommend you to, to restart your PC afterwards and uh, once you restarted it, you should be able to see this little uh, administrator symbol right around uh, your desktop shortcut of Steam. Once you see that, I want you to, rest to start Steam and launch your game over the Steam launcher and you should be able to fix the issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And if I couldn't help you out, guys, I'm just really sorry, but I just trying to do my best in order to help you out and yeah guys either way i hope you guys have a wonderful day see you at the next one and bye